the expectations when you take him fourth in the draft is you want to feed him and feed him early and feed him often. Somewhere my mom's smiling, keep passionate, driven. I hear the crowd go crazy, pressure's on, don't get lazy. He's going to be multidimensional there. That's how the Cowboys envision him. From a physical standpoint, there's nothing he can't do on the football field. All the other guys are going to be pieces, parts, role players. Elliot's going to be the guy. The guy, and yes, when you're the guy, the expectations, they tend to be pretty high, and so they are for Zeke Elliott. Uh, there's only been one Cowboys back to rush for over 1,000 yards in his rookie season. Uh, you see it right there. The NFL rookie record, 1,808 by Eric Dickerson, just in case you were wondering on this Tuesday morning. And with that, we head down to the Big D and check in with Todd Archer. He is live at the team's training camp in Frisco, Texas this morning. Uh, Todd, Zeke Elliott has missed most of training camp with that hamstring injury. What can you tell us about his status for Thursday night's preseason game against Seattle? The expectation is he's going to make his debut against the Seahawks. The last four times the Cowboys have been in full pads, Ezekiel Elliott has been in full pads. And he'll, they'll practice today. The expectation is he'll do more today than he's done. And by the time the Cowboys get on a plane Wednesday to go to Seattle, he'll be ready to make his debut. He said last week when he knew he wasn't going to play against Miami that he needed to play some in the preseason. Remember, he's not been tackled since the bowl game at Ohio State against Notre Dame. So he really wants to get a feel for a, getting hit, and B, this Cowboys offense, because it's really a lot on the running back to know the angles, know the, your place that you have to hit as a running back, and it's a lot built on that. So he wants to get some game feel before September 11th when the Cowboys play the New York Giants. Hmm. Well, from the fourth overall pick to their fourth round pick, Dak Prescott, who has really just been tearing it up, 22-27, 338 yards, six touchdowns through two preseason games. What's the organization saying that you're hearing about their confidence level as him backing up Tony Romo? Well, they're ready to put him in the team's ring of honor, I think, with what he's done in these two preseason games. No, <laughs> really, what they're, they're encouraged by everything that they've seen from Dak Prescott. And what it's done is allow them to not go out and overpay for a veteran free agent, be it Nick Foles a few weeks ago, or get in the trade market for a Josh McCown with the, with the Cleveland Browns. The Cowboys haven't been this encouraged by a young quarterback since Tony Romo in 2006 and what he has become. The Cowboys don't yet know what Dak Prescott will become, but I think they're feeling more and more confident confident that he could be their backup going into the season. The last time the Cowboys went into the season, this inexperience with a backup quarterback, 2004, when Drew Henson, fresh off his baseball career, and Tony Romo were the backups to a 41-year-old Vinny Testaverde. They've done it before. They've just not done it very much lately. Mm, well, the veterans certainly haven't helped in terms of backing up Tony Romo of late. And you talk about Ring of Honor. Well, it seems like Jerry Jones can't help but keep that grin off of his face when it comes to Dak Prescott these days. Todd coming back at the 9 a.m. hour to talk more about Dak Prescott. Thanks so much, Todd.